Hello friends. Happy Wednesday. How's everyone doing today? It's been a it's been a long week already and it's only half over. Smoking a Marksman Jumbo and I'm enjoying some haunted bookshop as I take a short break from work. Although the day is actually almost over, so the break is almost immaterial at this point. It has been a busy week. Um, just n Not just work, but like life stuff, you know, like a doctor's appointment or dentist appointment. And just like every day there's something. And I know that's just life, and I know people got it worse than me and all that. But, I don't know. It's, it's funny, when I look back on the past, it seems like I had all these days where I just had to do my job and be happy about it, and those days seem to be long gone. Maybe those days never existed. <laughs> I'm just remembering it that way, but, boy, it's funny how memory can play tricks like that on you, especially with time. Uh, yeah, I remember being a kid and waiting for summer vacation, waiting for school to end, and my god, the time between the Christmas holiday and June was an eternity, and now it's, it's gone in a blink of an eye. It's a funny thing. I was, who was it that I found out was uh, surprisingly old? I'm not going to think of it now, but there was somebody who was like a childhood star when I was young, and I was very shocked to find out they were like 78 years old, and you know, of course, they weren't a child star, they were a teenager, 20-something star, but I just viewed them as being young when I was young and now I'm not so young and they're more not so young. <laughs> it, it, it creeps up on you, you know. It's uh, I seem to have gone from 30 to 50 in a blink of an eye. But I've enjoyed it, you know. That, that's what's important. I've got lots of good memories. Got friends and family that uh, that still talk to me, so yeah, it's not not too bad. Uh, so things are going to get more hectic starting today because my uh, my lovely wife has gone off to visit her parents. Her parents live in. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the other side of the state. She hasn't seen them in a very long time. Um, I was going to say since March, but I think it was actually uh, more like February that she was last out there. And you know, they're they're in their 80s. In fact, her her dad just celebrated his 89th birthday, so she's very concerned. And she wants to be careful, but at the same time. She wants to see her dad, you know, she wants to see her mom and dad, and I, I understand that. It took her a long time to come to terms with being able to do this. Uh, for me, it's it's not such a big deal. Um, my dad, is he's younger, but he's, he's in his, his mid-70s. Uh, he's up in Vermont. Um, I usually go see him around the 4th of July, and he just flat out said, don't come. So, <laughs> and, you know, I talked to him, and... You know, I say, are you ready to see me yet? He'll say, no, stay there. <laughs> and it's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll eventually get to see him, I know. It's funny, Vermont is, uh, has actually done very well with COVID. And part of that is because there's like, nobody living there. Uh, but they've been real careful about who is allowed to come in and if you do come in you have to quarantine yourself and 
it, it was the strangest thing. He told me that if I come up to visit him, I'll have to stay in the house for two weeks. And I said, well, you'll have to stay in the house, too. And he said, no, it's just the person that comes in across the, the border. So that doesn't make any sense at all. But he swears that's true. He might have had it wrong. I, I don't know. But Things have been so wacky with this. Who knows? Maybe, maybe that is the rule. I'm expecting any day now to hear, don't go out in public unless you're wearing a freight wig. You know, yeah. yeah. We're not going to get into that today. <laughs> I'm in far too good a mood. I'm in a good mood because my day is nearly over. My, my work day is nearly over. And while I love my wife and I will miss her and it will be much harder to get through the day without her here because she takes care of all the little things like when the dogs need to go out and I'm working down here, she lets them out. Um, now I'm going to have to be running up and down the steps and, and all that. Uh, and that's just one trivial example. There's a lot of things she does. But uh, as much as I miss her, I also recognize that this frees me for the next five days to basically do what I want to do. Uh, and that sounds bad. She, she always lets me do what I want to do. But of course I have to be sensitive to the fact that she's there and I don't want to ignore her. Um, I don't want to hide down here in the basement all the time. I like to spend time with her. Um, I, I, I mean, she would like me to spend time with her and I want to spend time with her. Uh, but now that she's traveling, I, I get to hide down here. And there's some things I've been wanting to do that uh, I just haven't had the time. So hoping over the next five days I'm going to make some progress on those things. Got some really cool pipes on the bench right now. Um, I'll, just, I'll show you one of them here. Uh, this is an Ashton that I'm re-stemming, obviously. This is not, <laughs> this is not a finished step. Um, but this is a really cool pipe. It's, um, I guess you'd call it Rhodesian because it's got a round shank, but it's got a flat bottom and it actually would sit. Uh, the rings are not completely uh, present all the way around, so you kind of lose the top ring, oops, kind of lose the top ring right in here somewhere. Uh, but beautiful, uh, I think they called this pebble grain. Can't quite remember, but um, nice pipe. And so I've got the this is a, a uh, brindle stem, and it's all sized up and ready to be shaped. It is drilled. I don't know why I try to show you this, because you're never going to be able to see it. But it is, it is drilled. Yeah. <laughs> I went to grab a flashlight, and I got a lighter. Anyway, you, you don't need to see through it. Trust me, there's a hole going through there. And, uh, yeah, so that's, that's ready for the, uh, the sander, and I will be wearing a respirator and running the, uh, the vacuum when I, when I use the sander, so we'll, uh, we'll keep safe with that. So, yeah, lots of stuff going on in the shop. Just sent two pipes out today. I am slowly getting caught up. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a mountain to climb, and I really appreciate everybody being so patient with me, uh, I try to do the best job I can with your pipes and I, for that reason, do not rush anything and do not uh, work on, you know, multiple pipes at the same time. So I hope the, wor the, the work is worth the wait. That's a bit of a tongue twister. All right, coming up on Friday, we are going to have a live stream as we do every Friday. My guest at this point is a little bit up in the air so I have Eddie Gray scheduled um, and he confirmed a long time ago but he has been essentially incommunicado uh, since uh, since late last week I think it's because he's he is sending out the matches tribute pipes and he's spending all of his time wrapping and packaging pipes uh, so if you ordered a matches tribute pipe you should be getting it in the near future and you'll be getting a an email saying that it has shipped in the near future if not already um, 
So I think Eddie's just been really tied up with that, and he hasn't had time to look at email, and therefore he doesn't even know that I'm trying to get in touch with him, and I don't have any other way to get in touch with him. Uh, so he may not be a guest this Friday, and if that's the case, uh, I'll put up a, a thing probably late Thursday, you know, a, uh, a thumbnail notification, and you'll see that it's going to be a virtual pipe club. And that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll make good use of the time. We always do. So, stay tuned for, for how that develops. Um, I'm hoping that he gets in touch. I mean, I know he would not intentionally ignore this, and he, you know, he was really looking forward to it. So, it's just that life gets in the way sometimes. And I'm sure you would all rather have him packaging up your tribute pipes than uh, chatting with me. So, be happy. The other piece of news is on Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, I will be having a uh, mid-month live stream giveaway. And uh, <laughs> it's not the middle of the month, but it's as close as I could get. And for that giveaway, what I've decided to do is this guy here. Now, I can't give you the pipe. The pipe is mine. Uh, it's actually my prop for when I make uh, country gentleman stems. But the stem is what you would get. This is one of the patriotic red, white, and blue stems. It does accept a standard uh, filter, six millimeter filter. It has a Delrin tenon, and it's pretty much ready to, ready to smoke. I can bend it if you prefer. Uh, you'll just have to let me know. If you're the lucky winner, if you want to keep it like that, or if you want it bent, but uh, either way, that should be a nice, uh, nice little prize for for somebody that knows their pipe trivia. So we're going to do the same that we did last time. That worked out pretty well. There was a bit of bookkeeping involved, but it worked out well. So we're going to have, uh, I think it was three questions, and the first person to get. A question right goes into a final round, and then in the final round we do five questions. Uh, so yeah, it should be fun. It was a bit comical because we would have people come in after I gave the rules and stuff. So <laughs> you'd, you'd ask a question, and all of a sudden, because only the three people that have gotten into the final round are supposed to be answering when you get to the final round. And you'd ask a question, and somebody that came in late, like it was a number question, like how many pipes should you have in your rotation? And somebody that came in late just started typing two, three, four, five. <laughs> uh, but it all worked out, and uh, we had a winner last time, so hopefully we'll, uh, we'll have as much fun this time. So that's Saturday, 4 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, and I'll put a notification up. Uh, probably tomorrow. And as well, I'll put a notification up for Friday, which will be Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And we'll either talk to Eddie or you'll have me for an, uh, an hour and a half. Yeah. Tune in for either. I'm not that bad. Whenever I smoke this pipe, this is probably... I believe this is the oldest pipe I own. Not the, not the pipe I've owned the longest, but this pipe was probably made in the 30s, so, you know, it's 80, 90 years old. And I don't think I have any that are, that are older than that. Um, I believe the doodlers came later, so... But it just always amazes me when I smoke this and I think about the fact that this thing has been a pipe for 80 or 90 years, and at least one person owned it before me and took it on many adventures, and I'll never know anything about that, which is a little sad. 
but at the same time, it, 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 there's a mystery locked in here, and I kind of like that. You know, if only if only a pipe could talk. Huh. Well, folks, I think I'm gonna go back to work for ten minutes or so and send out an email just so people know I'm alive. And uh, then grab some dinner and head back down here to the shop to work on that stem. Sound like a good plan to you? Well, enjoy the rest of your week. Don't forget to tune in Friday night and Saturday afternoon. And with that, I'll see you one of those times. So take care, and we'll talk soon.